a this is a 1954 Chevrolet truck. It's been turned into a rat rod. And uh, still running just a little cold. So this uh, truck's been, the body's been transferred over to an S10 chassis. She's got a 350 V8 automatic transmission. See my finger there, that's how well it steers. Automatic trans, power disc brakes, power steering. It's a great driving truck. Try not to go too fast through here for my neighbors. healthy sounding engine the only thing I'm afraid of is I might be running low on gas so it's got these hinge pins that are actually underneath it to hold the uh, hood down just wanted you to hear the engine running. It's a good, healthy, strong engine. A lot of things I like about this truck, a couple of things I would have done differently if I was building it, but uh, I love that. Um, I actually just put this uh, this uh, Cadillac Oldsmobile 1950s model, they call that a bat wing air cleaner on it. Really, really cool. Took the time to sand the top off and it kind of looks nice because it matches the, uh, the uh, welded valve covers. So aluminum welded valve covers look really cool. Just a mild build on the 350. Like I said, power disc brakes, power steering. There's no inner fender wells here, so if you wanted to, you could put those on. Uh, one of the things that I wish the guys would have done a little differently is this, that it's nice that it has an aluminum radiator because it keeps the engine nice and cool, but they did cut this front uh, valence piece and uh, I actually had one up until last week. I had one sitting at the shop for about four years and I had a guy from a, from a, um, oh, what does he do? What do they call those? Uh, swap meet come and take about five thousand dollars worth of my stuff and that was one of the pieces so i'm a little bit bummed out i'm just gonna set that down for now but man i love this grill it looks really cool a little spot here where somebody did some leather stitching on it um just a really really cool front grill front bumper i really like this um keep in mind that the hood's not quite sitting all the way down because i didn't pin it back but um just love this paint i mean very very cool uh, presence this has got a great street and show presence um, 20 inch boss wheels I believe they're 20 by nines all the way around I would have personally done maybe 18s in the front 18 by 8s in the front and 20 by nines or 20 by 10s in the back but this is still a really cool look uh, the truck has been painted to look like this too so nice cool fresh patina paint job um, the bed is a uh, solid solid wood bed i'm not sure if that's oak or pine but somebody did kind of a nice cool patina and then underneath the uh little gas cap here you've actually got your uh, gas with the uh hub cap on it which i think is super cool it is tub so you can put the fat fat wheels back here if you want as fat as you want so it has got that rat rod look, but it's actually a very minimal, very, very minimal rust truck. 
few spots if we go around it there's a couple spots where you can see there's a little bit of bondo and some rust there uh, nothing major this is not a bondo bucket but there is a crack there uh, cab corners look real good <clears throat> it's kind of trying to go around and find the find the rust there's actually a bit of a dent there um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be careful with these because you don't want, you don't expect a truck like this to be perfect, but, uh, I don't like buying really, really rusty trucks. And, uh, even if they're made to be rat rods, I'm just personally not into truck with a bunch of rust in it. Cause I kind of just feel like spending a lot of money. I don't want to have a really rusty truck. So, um, the turn signals all work. Some of the little custom things that were done to this as well is these, uh, glass bowl, um, fuel filters are now the uh, lights, brake lights, and turn signals, and that's really, really cool with LEDs in it. They all do work. Brand new upholstery job, just a couple of weeks old. Really pretty, really, really nicely done. I get a lot of trucks like this, and I'm, this is actually probably one of the nicest upholsteries I've seen. It's really, really nicely done. Matching seat, beautiful. Carpet, brand new carpet kit. Um, I think that the gas pump is kind of cool, but it prob I would probably cut and weld this over just to here and then do it. It, when it, it sits right next to my leg when I'm driving. Uh, so just to be honest about it, but, uh, it's kind of a cool look, but it, or maybe even just drop it, drop it all the way down to the ground where it just sits down there. I don't like it sitting up so high. Different strokes for different folks. All new dolphin gauges. Everything's hooked up except for the speedometer. And of course you can see those are new and it says, still says zero miles on it. I am driving the truck. I'm actually driving it down to um, Warm Springs, Georgia, on Saturday for the for the uh, wedding. So little uh, uh, old apple juice. Oh, you have to have the key in the on position for that to come on. It's an old apple juice. There it goes. Um, apple juice bottle. Kind of cool. And uh, headliner is in and is nice, but the trim pieces are missing from around the edges. So. That might be something somebody would want to do really pretty in here the truck also retains its original um vin tag it's never been removed doors open and shut kind of a little bit rough you know as typical pretty typical for these old trucks anyways but windows roll up and down nice and all the glass on the driver's side and passenger side is in good shape the vent windows are old original and they have some wear on them and the uh the the windshield's got the windshield wiper scratches unfortunately and a crack over here so uh it was left that way and especially that back you can see the smoke on the rear window that could be original or very very old glass probably original of course it was left that way because that gives the rat rod look so some guys may want to put a new windshield in other guys might want to leave it i didn't want to mess with it because i didn't want to mess with the rat rod look um really love the visor i just think the visors just always add that little extra something step ups are actually in really good shape they've been patinaed cab corners are in good shape a couple of small rust holes here at the bottom of the door but the very bottoms of the doors are not rusted out Of course, like I said, it's sitting on an S10 frame. Original floor pans are in good shape. Dual exhaust. Man, I can't wait to take this truck to the weekend. Just gonna make some really great photos. In fact, if you end up buying this truck, let me know. I'll get some photos of the bride and groom in a couple of weeks. And that is a fuel cell in the back. And I think it needs a, it does need, somebody needs to take the time to make a little roll pan in the back. Maybe put a, the original bumper back on. That's another thing um, is I just gave, I've had a bumper for this that would fit perfectly on this truck. And I just gave it away a week ago. And then I got this truck three days ago. So uh, bummer, but I'm not gonna order another one. Let the next guy do what he wants. Like I said, nice clean floor pans, S10 frames, all in great shape. It's not chopped any more than, you know, the normal. It's supposed to be chopped, obviously, to be put under here, but it's not cut in half and welded back together. I actually kind of like it when they're on the S10 frame better than, than the clipped. If the clip is done the right way, that's good. 
but a lot of guys just don't do their front clips the best and you put a camaro front clip on and they don't do a good job at least with a full frame you don't have any broken welds or anything like that so nice good always you know you got the factory chevrolet from bumper to bumper framework on a s10 so there you have it what a freaking killer truck somebody's gonna just enjoy this thing like crazy and uh gonna make some hella cool pictures for a wedding too